Okay, so now that we have determined or recognized what are the holding costs and the setup costs, we know that the total cost is the sum of these two costs, and that's what makes our total cost equal to the I max over 2 times H plus D over Q times S. Okay, as you can see in this equation. Now, the problem here is that I could not find a relationship between total cost and Q only, right? Here we have another variable, which is I max. But this is not a big deal because based on the geometry of the inventory on hand, we can find the relationship between I max and Q. You don't have to worry about it. This will be given to you. And here we go. I max is expressed in terms of Q where it's equal to Q times 1 minus U over P. All right, where U is the consumption rate or the demand rate, if it was an external demand, and P is the production rate. And what we will do next, of course, we're going to plug this I, this I max in terms of Q. We can plug it in the total cost formula, and this will give me now a final equation that relates the total cost with the Q. So Q is the only variable here. Now here we have to, uh, uh, there's something that we need to be careful that because we have a daily rate and a production rate that are in a ratio, we should always make sure that they are expressed in the same time unit. Sometimes they are not. So we have to convert one of them. For example, sometimes they give us a weekly production rate or daily production rate however they give us a weekly demand so of course we cannot use these values as is in the ratios and we have to convert one of them so either we convert the weekly demand to daily demand or the uh, daily production rate to a weekly production rate all right so now to find the epq the optimal production quantity as we did also in the EOQ once we find the relationship between the total cost and the quantity remember what we did yes you differentiate the total cost with respect to Q you set it equal to zero this is something that you learned in your high school and you find QP you don't need to worry about the differentiation you're not going to do it in this course because this following equation will be given to you so this is the equation for the optimal production quantity okay so we can call it the optimal batch size or the optimal lot size or simply the optimal production quantity okay the first term it's uh, we are familiar with this because it's exactly as in the eoq two times the annual demand times the setup cost all right so it's the annual demand, setup cost, and then we have here a holding cost. We multiply it also by the square root of the production rate. Here we go. We have in the numerator and denominator. And in the denominator, we have the consumption rate. Consumption rate, remember, again, it's, e, it's the demand rate. So two more equations here to, to learn. The production runtime, okay, which is, remember, in the profile we have seen that we start our production it goes up and then it stop so where it stop we call that the runtime in the previous example it was three days how do we calculate it it's equal to q divided by the production rate very easy and the cycle time it's exactly as in the eoq in the eoq we represent this as q over d D is the demand rate, and here U is the demand rate. That's why we show it as Q over U. All right, it's exactly the same. All right, so let's see what we have learned. Let's see how to apply the APQ model to find the optimal batch size. So what are we given here? A toy manufacturer uses 48,000 rubber wheels per year for its popular truck series. The firm make the wheel themselves. Again, they can produce at a rate of 800 per day. The toy trucks are assembled uniformly uh, over the entire year. Okay, so this is what this is the daily rate, or uh, they are referring to the uh, daily demand. The carrying cost is one dollar per wheel. 
this is the h small h and setup cost for the production is 45 dollars okay this is a setup cost the firm operates 240 days per year so we need to determine the following so before we go on in our calculation let's find out what are these given to us so what's that this is our capital d all right and the firm makes its own width all right here the rate of 800 what's that this is small p the production rate and this one dollar is h small h the carrying cost all right and the setup cost very it's very clear here that's given to us as 45 dollars so eventually we have everything all what we have to do is to plug these figures in the formulas that we have learned earlier all right so let's answer the first part what's our optimal run size or optimal lot size or optimal batch size okay so please be familiar with all these terms because they are used interchangeably so the optimal run size all what we have to do is to use the qp formula which is given to us 2ds over h times p over p minus u radical now we have all these values right we have capital d we have s a h p and u we don't have it right because we don't have uh, the demand at the same time unit as the production rate production rate was given as 800 per day but u is not given but remember we said that u is your demand rate so if you know capital d of course you will know small u why because small u is the capital d divided by the number of working days okay so here we go this is how we find it u is the annual demand divided by the number of working days per year so it's equal to 48,000 units per year divided by 240 days per year so we can see that uh, uh, we will end up with 200 units per day okay now we have all the values to plug in the formula and we find the following qp so it's equal to 2400 units here on purpose i have showed you i have shown you the results of the first part which is this part okay and then the second which is this part i strongly advise you in the exam to do this because many students do this mistake in the exam um, for some reason um, they do miscalculation but if you show each term result separately most probably this will be uh, this will save you some uh, some mistakes all right now uh, let's answer second part which is what the minimum total annual cost for the carrying and setup cost of course we know that to find the minimum cost all what we have to do is to plug in the total cost formula the optimal quantity in the place of q right because you can always go ahead and produce any quantity not necessarily the optimal one and for that there is an associated cost but this cost will not, will not be minimum so if you are asked about the minimum cost certainly you have to plug in the total cost formula the optimal quantity q all right so here we can see uh, this will be your optimal quantity again here we face uh, the issue that i have an i max and i don't have i max but we learned that we can find i max from q right there's a relationship between i max and q and here we go it's equal to q times one minus u over p again u is the consumption rate p is the production rate they have to be in the same time unit so 2400 is the value that we got uh, in the first part part a and we plug these uh, in their uh, places again here i strongly advise to show these two terms separately okay so we have this one uh, which is 2400 and show this one separately this is 0 0.75 and the, the, the maximum 
uh, inventory that we hold is 1800 now we are ready to find the total cost you plug the IMAX here uh, or the 1800 in place of IMAX and we get the total cost what do you notice here also because this is an EPQ it's an optimal quantity these two uh, components of the total cost should be the should be equal so you use that as a verification method and we end up with a total annual cost of 1800 per year okay part c we need to find the cycle time we have already learned that we have already an equation for that cycle time is equal to q over u <coughs> sorry so that's equal to 2400 Q that we found in part A divided by U, which we have used also in the parts A and B. So that's 12 days. This is our cycle time. Part D, what's the runtime? Remember what's the runtime? It's the time that in every cycle you run your machine. Remember, we have the cycle is split into two times. The first part is when you are making the item and then you stop because you already have some enough inventory on hand and the second part is only when you are consuming your inventory okay or using or selling your inventory what's the runtime it's given as q over p okay so that's equal to three days so this will uh, now we have answered all the questions in this example i strongly advise you to do it also again on your own and to practice more problems next we are going to um, cover a very generic uh, problem called the make or buy uh, problem 